Well, the article is a little bit disturbing for us because it uh, looks a little bit like manipulation of uh, uh, our visit. It is certainly true that uh, we uh, uh, obtain a deeper understanding of how uh, Chinese law works and how it is interpreted uh, by the court and the police. Uh, but uh, it is also true that uh, we consistently told uh, our Chinese uh, hosts in so many words that we disagree with their approach to Xie Jiao, and we believe it's dangerous for religious liberty and doesn't correspond to the international uh, conventional obligations China subscribe at the United Nations level and at the level of other international organizations. Uh, and also we cautioned uh, repeatedly against translating uh, uh, anti-CAGIAO as anti-cult association and CAGIAO as cult. We believe it's a wrong translation because again, uh, the, the Chinese approach to CAGIAO is different uh, even from, we don't use the word cult, but those who use the word cult have a different definition. While the main, uh, uh, the main uh, standard to identify uh, a CAGIAO in China is a group believed to be against the government. Some are really against the government, some they believe they are against the government, but surely, uh, for those who use the word cult, the definition of cult in the West has never been a group which is against the government. While in China, at the end of the day, the main standard to define Xie uh, Jiao is a group the government believes it is against CCP. And that's completely different from the West. So we urge them, let's call yourself the anti CAGIAO association, not the anti-cult association, because the concept is different. And of course, we also say that in the West, uh, our understanding of religious liberties, that religions uh, uh, should be free to criticize the, the government or the, the, the ruling political party, which is not happening in China. So in, in the quote uh, you read to me, there is a part which is true. It's true that we gained a better understanding of how the machine of CCP works uh, against the CAGIAO. Uh, but there is a part which is not true that we were happy about it. We were very unhappy about it. And we told the Chinese uh, that uh, this machinery is very dangerous for religious liberty. And that seems more like uh, propaganda. And uh, we should say after our trip to uh, Hedan, we don't know, uh, because we were only allowed to visit um, three self-congregations, and the very small remnant, actually we met one person of uh, what uh, was in the 19th century a flourishing Jewish life in Kaifeng. And then we visited uh, some very official and even a little bit touristy uh, Buddhist temple, including Shaolin. But uh, we were not uh, allowed to interview any uh, house church members uh, or any um, Catholic member of the so-called underground church, the non-official underground church, uh, let alone members of CAGR. So uh, we had uh, only uh, um, exposure to the official religion in China, so the, the good, uh, uh, honest to God answer to, to your question is we don't know. We don't know more than we knew before uh, because we only saw the official expression of religion in China, but we didn't see any non-official, non-CCP controlled expression of religion in China. So about this second uh, 
part of the religious life in China, we don't know more than we knew before. So we knew before from books, from uh, articles, uh, from uh, witnesses who escaped from China and come to the West. And uh, the visit to Henan didn't add anything to this knowledge. It added something perhaps to our knowledge of how the three style of church is organized, yes, but that uh, only visiting the three style uh, church uh, doesn't tell us anything about uh, the house churches or uh, the CNGR. Well, surely we cannot uh, in any way say that uh, China is uh, a country with religious liberty in the sense uh, the term religious liberty, the notion of religious liberty is defined in the International Convention, uh, which includes the freedom to designate the leaders and uh, the freedom of uh, mission and uh, proselytization. Now, this does not exist in uh, China uh, because some religious organizations are allowed, but their missionary activities are restricted and the leaders are uh, designated by CCP, not by the religious bodies themselves. Uh, so uh, it is true that uh, there are sometimes negotiations, uh, uh, for instance, with the Catholic Church, uh, but they are far away from being concluded. And also most international observers uh, believe that with the coming into force of new regulations in February 2018 and the so-called process of the cynicization of religion, the situation in 2018 will actually not become better but become worse. So my understanding of the situation in uh, China is there are three layers. Uh, the first layer includes the CCP uh, approved uh, uh, organizations uh, like the Three Self Church or the Association of uh, uh, Patriotic Catholic Churches. And uh, this can uh, worship uh, freely uh, but their leaders are designated by CCP and of course they cannot criticize any CCP policy. Then the second layer is the non-approved uh, churches and religions, and that includes the house churches, and uh, they exist in China but in a very precarious situation. And that includes also the underground Catholic Church because they worship, uh, uh, sometimes they believe the police is more or less tolerating them, but when the police comes and arrests somebody and somebody else disappears and never reappears, uh, so they live in a very difficult and precarious existence. And then the third layer is the CAGIAO, and uh, for groups, uh, uh, in the list of the CAGIAO, not only there is no religious liberty, but there is a real persecution. Uh, CCP promised they will be eradicated like tumors, uh, and they are more or less fair game. Uh, you can be arrested, uh, uh, most probably you can be tortured, uh, uh, you can be killed, uh, uh, because the CAGIAO, uh, as the CCP says, from their point of view, are a tumor. And what do you do to a tumor? You, you don't uh, discuss with the tumor or treat the tumor kindly, but you try to completely destroy and eradicate it. And uh, in other world, I believe uh, the Western media uh, should try to understand better is cynicization. Uh, I know it's a difficult word, but on the face of it, uh, and there is a traditional meaning of cynicization, uh, which goes back before the CCP, uh, it means uh, making uh, something really Chinese. But that's not the meaning of cynicization in the discourse uh, of CCP. 
If we read the document of CCP, cynicization means uh, uh, cooperating uh, with CCP, uh, being firmly under the leadership of the CCP, and uh, accepting uh, the aims, the goals, the program for Chinese society of CCP. CCP gives the words a new meaning. And uh, the new meaning of cynicization is being fully integrated in the system uh, of CCP. If you are not integrated in the system of CCP, you are not cynicized. You can be 100% Chinese. No foreign leaders. All leaders are Chinese. doesn't matter. Uh, you need to be integrated in CCP system, uh, or otherwise you are declared that not synesthetized. Well, it's interesting to note that after the Hong Kong conference, uh, the CCP uh, part of the conference wanted to prepare a statement uh, for all of us to sign, and uh, we say no, uh, because uh, 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 we agreed the, that we disagree, and so we cannot prepare a common statement because we have, uh, on all the issues, uh, including the Church of Almighty God, we have different opinions on what statement. So there was really no statement because the Western scholars refused to sign a final statement of the conference. But of course, their media can publish reports, which they are free to do, but uh, these reports do not reflect uh, the, the common opinion of the participant in these conferences, uh, mostly because there is no common opinion. These are conferences where two different uh, opinions were presented, the one from the Western scholars uh, and one uh, from uh, CCP and also and there is a nuance here from some Christian leaders which do not fully share the, the position of CCP, but I will say they are perhaps closer to CCP than they are to, to Western scholars. So uh, it's, these conferences did not come to any shared or common conclusion. Uh, I, I don't believe they were a complete waste of time, uh, surely not for us, uh, because we gained a better understanding uh, of how the CCP uh, system to fight the CAGR works. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, we don't agree with this system. And so any report published by CCP sources uh, uh, reflects the opinion of one part of the conference participants, but uh, uh, by no means of the uh, entirety of the conference participants.